are here to introduce you to Recycle Tex, high molecular pyrolysis waste to fuel energy plant. This is a 50 ton per day facility. Behind me, you see the feedstock, which is actually residual waste from other transeros. This stock is usually disposed of. Now it becomes a feedstock for the unit. From here, the material is transferred into a conveyor belt system. The conveyor belt system brings it into a chopper where the material is reduced to a smaller size before it is fed into the trommel screener. Once it enters into the trommel screener, any metal material is separated from the feedstock. The feedstock then enters the long conveyor belt system leading up to the top of the unit where it is fed inside the unit. Any gases that are left over from this material are refed back into the unit so it becomes a fuel. If you'll notice up on top, there is no smoke or residue that leaves this material. It's less than lighting up one cigarette is the material that you can see come out of this. Completely clean operation. I'm going to point out to you the pyrolysis machine. It's not an incinerator, but it's called a pyrolysis unit, which you can see up the top. Notice there is no residue of smoke or any byproduct leaving the equipment. This is the oil that is taken out of the machine. Now this oil can be sold as a residual oil that's used by different companies. They can mix it, they can blend it with diesel fuel or bunker fuel as an aggregate because it buys, burns at a higher rate. This is a big overview of 50 ton per day high molecular pyrolysis waste to fuel operation owned and operated by Recycle Tech Corp.